American vintage appliances we need. It's going to be really interesting to get into this video and check out old appliances that we don't have anymore that we could do with today. I have no clue what I'm seeing on the screen right now. So this is going to be a super interesting video. Most of these I've probably never seen before. Before we do get into this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's jump straight into this and check this out. In today's modern kitchen, there are many appliances that we can't live without. Right. Some of those appliances have been around for years, but they have undergone okay. many different changes. Even though these appliances have been updated, there's still a lot of room for improvement. What is interesting to think about is that these improvements may have already taken place, but they are no longer used. Right. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the old appliances that someone could bring back. What is that? This little contraption may have seemed like a toy, but it wasn't. A pot? <laughs> it was the salad spinner. Huh? They are still around, but aren't quite the same as this one. The plastic centrifuges came in pastel greens and creamsicle oranges. Wait, wait, wait. What do you need a salad spinner for? Oh, I suppose it's just like mix up the salad. Uh, I suppose, right? You do the salad, you put it into the bowl, and you want to spin it. Okay, okay, okay. Parents usually gave kids the small. duty of sitting on the floor and cranking this thing like mad to dry <laughs> lettuce. It was a great way to get children to help out in the kitchen and also to keep them busy. Yeah, I can see why. That's Since pretty cool, we though. talking about salads, let's have a look at this forgotten kitchen utensil that's on the upper right. What is that? This is a gourmet salad set, and it looks like some sort of medieval torture device. <laughs> It was basically a wooden block that had a depression in it to hold huh? a head of lettuce. Once you place that in there, you could hack away at it with its half moon blade. What? This was a pestle with a sharpened mortar. It certainly. Yo, that is like some medieval thing, bro. Bro, look at this. You get the you get the little axe with a half moon blade. You put the lettuce in it. You just start smashing it. Yo, that, bro, I would actually like that. Yo, bring this back. <laughs> away at it with its half moon blade. This was I a pestle one. with a sharpened mortar. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> looks like a great way to relieve stress after a long work day. Oh yeah, be of that less. If you look in the grocery stores today, you'll still see an array of canned goods, but it does seem like more people buy frozen goods instead. Uh, Those that do buy true. cans have to have a can opener. Hand-operated ones work great, but electric right. ones work even better. There was a time when oh, electric wow. ones could also sharpen your knives with a satisfying grinding noise. Oh, wow. You may have had a mother or a grandmother that used one of these, and she probably whipped up some good recipes with it. Yo, you guys definitely need to let me know which one of these you've ever had before. For me, I ain't ever had any of these, bro. This is my first time, like, seeing most of these. I ain't gonna lie. This is the Naxon Beanery, and it was the original name for the crock pot. Whoa. It was developed by Irving Naxon so he could recreate his Lithuanian grandmother's bean soup. Aww. The beanery revolutionized slow cooking in the mid-century. Bro, we we have these. Is this just not like what we call a slow cooker? Where you put loads of stuff in the pot and then put the lid on and just let it cook for ages? In 1971, the Chicago-based manufacturer was yeah. bought out by Rival, who renamed the plug-in pot the Crock Pot. If you bought one of these right. and told your mother or... Yeah, 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 look, look, look. stoneware slow cooker. Yeah, yeah, I, I got one of these. I have not used it, but... Grandmother that it was the same thing, they would probably say it wasn't. In the 1950s, uh, yeah, actually, the cocktail them. culture was going strong, and there were many different products on the market. This is a handy device from the latter part of the decade that would crush your ice cubes into chunky slush. Oh, wow. Of course, as a kid, you may have used this for your juices, soda, or even water. Wait, uh, why is that not a thing today? You'd think that this is a thing today, bro. With, like, kid parties and stuff like that, and, like, even making cocktails or, or like, alcohol drinks. Why is the that not bar was the ultimate entertainment system in its day. Huh? On the outside, it looked like any other cabinet, but once you opened it up, it had everything you needed all in one spot. That's cool. This had a console television, stereo, and a full-fledged bar all in one convenient package. The thing is, as cool as this is, it would never come back, right? Because who's fitting their TV in this, bro? <laughs> In today's world, 
I suppose you could have a TV like in in a wall, and then maybe have like a section like this next to it. But yeah, we <laughs> I don't know anyone with a TV small as this, bro. Not anymore. I'm really not sure why these wonderful inventions still aren't on the market. What's that? It's a refrigerator that is meant to hang on the wall. Yo! Sure, it would need some strong screws, but think about all the convenience this would have. Bro, every I'd item be inside would be a lot more visible and accessible. I'd be scared well, of Unless you were a little kid. This brilliant refrigerator would be a lot easier to clean underneath and inside. Bro, that was a thing? A wall mounted fridge? Aye, that's sick. I'd be, I'd actually be scared that the wall would c like came in with the fridge because fridges are heavy, man. Hopefully, some appliance manufacturer will give these fridges a good strong look and make them come back. I don't know. I don't know. Retractable stovetops came in several varieties and colors. What? They were all electric and supposed to be somewhat of a space saver and or convenience. Wait. These went out of fashion <laughs> because the drawers would often break and the stovetop would have to be left out, which would leave it in the way. Okay, Perhaps okay, wow. Perhaps they can improve the drawers and figure out a way for these to be popular. Once yeah, they can definitely make a very good modern version of this, bro. I'm surprised no one has. Once again, if you live in a small apartment or home, then this may be of interest to you, especially if you're renting. Wait. You may not have a dishwasher installed, and the landlord probably doesn't want you cutting into the cabinets, which right. would also leave you with less cabinet space. That's where this portable countertop dishwasher comes in. I right, this you is can sick. Use it when you need to, and move it off the counter as needed. Ah, uh, you can't tell me that people don't have this, though. Th this is vintage. Nobody has this no more. Surely people have In that. the kitchens of today, you'll notice that refrigerators come in just a few colors. Right. Black, white, and stainless steel. Right. There was a time when there were a lot more color options. I'm sure we're all familiar with the 1970s and the popular orange, oh. yellow, and brown. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, my. Bro. Yeah, back in the day, bro, like in the 70s and 80s, you guys were spontaneous with your colors. I ain't gonna lie. Let me know we're growing up because I know there's a lot of people that was, uh, you know, you guys was uh, around in the 70s and 80s. Let me know um, if you was around in the 70s and 80s, what color fridge you had. Bro, if I was going to choose one, I don't know, which one would I have? I don't know. See, I'm, I'm not that big on like spontaneous colors. I'd have the green one. However, if you take one. a look at this old ad, you'll see a lot more color options than Mad. you probably even realized. Sure does make today's world seem a lot more boring. Oh, uh, I would have this one. It's like some camouflage type fridge, bro. Take a look at this. It looks terrific, but I have never what? seen one in person, nor have I ever known anyone to have one. Ah, what's Imagine that? Imagine the convenience of having just one appliance. Yeah, sure, it's not energy efficient, but let's push that aside for the moment. This thing... Yo, too much is going on, bro. We got a stove next to a sink, next to a fridge, next... Bro, what? It'll allow you to cook and wash on top of your refrigerator. <laughs> It sure seems like this thing should be in every tiny home and RV show. True. If you're lucky enough, Ooh. then maybe you have one of these lingering in your house. What is Perhaps this? Perhaps you purchased it new or inherited it, but it still works. This little griddle will allow you to whip up flapjacks on top while you cook the sausage below in oh, a little wow. jar. It's a great way to whip up breakfast for the whole family. That's cool, that is. Take a look at this Ronson can opener. It's essentially the Swiss army knife of can openers. <laughs> After you're done opening your can of tuna, you could switch it over to a whisk if you're whipping together a cake, a masher oh, and wow. take care of your potatoes, or a scrambler to whip up some eggs. You know what? I bet people still have this. In the 1940s, there wasn't a lot of extra room in the house, so space-saving appliances were very popular. Right. The Thor dishwasher washing machine was one of those appliances that met those needs. This incredible machine could do double duty by washing your dress and slacks in one load, and then your dinner plates and wine glasses in the next load. 
it really seems like someone needs to figure out a way to make this happen again. Bro, that's smart. Yo, why do I feel like we've just got more simpler? Not like, wait, what's the word, bro? Less productive? I don't know. What I'm saying is, is back in the day, bro, you guys would have one machine for everything. Whereas now we got machine, 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 like separate ones, bro. The kitchens of yesterday seem pretty interesting. Take this to pan Fabulous 400, for instance. The burners could be covered up with a wooden cutting board, but when you pulled it out, imagine this little convenience. Yeah, that's cool. You could cut up your meats and veggies and then throw them right into the cooking pots in front of you. That's cool. For those of you that might have to oh, deal wow. with snow in the winter, then this might be a great option for you. It's a snow melting flame gun. Sure, it's what? not a kitchen appliance, but how else are your <laughs> dinner guests going to get in the house? There's no reason to throw your back out shoveling snow. Yo, okay, okay, okay. This Daphne wouldn't be a legal thing in the UK. I don't think the UK would allow a flame gun around. America? Sure, right? Sure, I can see this being a thing. I'm very surprised. Why is this not a thing now, though? I would love one of these. A flame gun? Yo, just me melt the snow? Just light That's this so flamethrower and melt your troubles away. <laughs> if you think about it, this would also be a great option for the summertime as well. You could cook hot dogs okay. and s'mores. Some of these old Yo, appliances so may seem a little strange, but they really could be something that companies could reinvent for the modern right. consumer. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, like so many of these could be modernized. Like, like don't necessarily bring back what we see right here. Modernize it a bit. Change it up a little bit. Boom. And you can make like a really good one, bro. And it would work. Many of these them good have ideas. conveniences and appealing features that would become extremely handy in today's home. Right. I Especially hope you enjoyed homes. this little look into the appliances of the past. As always, these are cool. thank you so much for watching. Yeah, definitely let me know which one of these you guys experienced back in the day. Or even if you got any of them now, let me know in the comment section. But really good video. Enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. If you didn't, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.